something like the uncertainties of the 60s have been sold out for the... Find that one line. You remember that line perfectly. Okay. It's not, you read, yeah. you re read it ten times because it was just yeah. like it nailed it perfectly. <laughs> it was like, yeah, what was it in Tony's last column? It was about the yeah. 70s. And what was that column about? It was like he wrote a thing about, well, the 70s are like more than half over now. And, right. You know, if there's anything going to happen, we, you know, that kind of yeah. stuff. We got four years left. And, Right. Know, that kind it's of. It's got to happen now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And but you really like that one line. What was that one line? And just read it in your mind again. Yeah. Okay. You know, I really like Tony's last um, column about this decade. What was that line? The uncertainties of the '60s have been sold out for the for the certainty of boredom in the '70s. Yeah. It's like the every other decade theory. You know, the '50s were boring. The '60s rocked. Yeah. <laughs> The 70s obviously suck. And maybe the 80s will be great. So, just is it neutral here? Yeah. Search and find transmission. good for like spinning the tires right so say if i if i'm going to want to try and spin the tires is that going to be possible yeah. it's be real hard but you're going to you're going to have to rev up have a have a wreck here in the parking lot yeah okay you're going to have to pop the clutch oh if, is that if, what i yeah, they'll ever want you to do that okay because he told up, me rick told me a couple times that he wants that to like when i get out of there like peel, peel out, out you know what we'll do is we'll throw some gravel down wherever you got to peel out, and that'll make it real nice and easy. Oh, I see. Then You'll make sparks fly when you right. take off. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, man. But for all the driving that you're going to be doing in the show, like I say, the sun's going to run 60 miles an hour in low gear. You'll never have to shift gears. Yeah, I'm mean, just leaving first gear. Yeah. Whoever owned this car kind of was interested in, in drag racing. Strictly a drag mobile is what it is.
What's it like to be bad? I mean... Gee, I wouldn't know. Uh, it feels kind of good to be able to get away with it for once. Yeah? My mommy says I'm not allowed to know. Your mom says what? My mommy says I'm not allowed to know what it's like to be a bad boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, is this, I mean, is this how you were when you were, well, you're still no, in no, I was this. Still in my youth. I was a straight A student. I was a straight A student. <laughs> a straight a student uh, I'll believe that shit. Studies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm still a straight A student. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the 70s generally? Oh, God. I mean, it's great. But what do you think Brad, about the 70s? How can you 70s? go wrong with this? The garb, well, I mean, the, the fashion think, is definitely something I don't think that the, the words think and 70s go together too well. Yeah? People were thinking in the 70s. Though. I mean, how is it different than now? How is it different than now? It's because he's conscious now. Didn't have to wear condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you had to wear condoms. <laughs> Gee, what's this funny itch? Uh, kind of a more free-spirited type of let's just get up and do things. Now it's kind of it's like really kind of kind of a conscious awareness. Yeah, you know, want that, that bullshit. That we got to be aware of some Yeah, there was I don't think there was much, as much of a, a conscious overall one uni unified thinking going on back then. I think it was uh, kind of a striving off of the ignorance of what was to come later, you just know. Just carrying on, having a good time. I think yeah. it was just a blah period in the history of the United States. Just a bunch of people actually sitting on their asses and actually, screwing. Wrong. You Watch your language. Watch your language, my God. About. <laughs> I probably wouldn't. I was born in 76, so. Oh, man. Well, how's it, how's it been, like, working in such a big ensemble? An ensemble cast. Is oh, it's great or most of the time. What's it like? I love ditto. Everybody. Ditto. Ditto. Yeah, it's great. How is it different than when you have like one bigger part? I wouldn't know. Um, you have. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't no professional. We have a lot of different energies going on, you know. Other than, yeah. it's, it's kind of cool because you have a lot of different things to play off rather than one person's energy, you know. And it's, it's and difficult. It's, you don't, there's, you, you, whenever it's kind of a one on one type thing, you have a tendency to kind of kick in with that person's rhythm and kind of be the same type of thing. The movie ends up kind of being that same pace thing. This has so many different paces and energies, you know. It's, it's, it's great. It's real. No one's going to be able to classify this movie. That's what I love about it. Anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't make me hit you again, <laughs> buddy. He hit me. He hit me. <laughs> you know what I said? Because I was giving him a hard time over there, and I said, listen, I'm giving you a hard time. I know, as I feel compelled that I have to do that right now, so my character goes, but if you want to hit me, go ahead. Like, before I even finish your sentence, you're like, boom, <laughs> <laughs> hit me right in the stomach. Were there, did the rehearsals go, like, any differently than uh, rehearsals? No, Almost completely different. Yeah. I didn't know anybody in rehearsals. I mean, so we, yeah, we're... We're not shooting the script at all. I mean, the script is basically a, a bone, a skeleton to the to the whole product, and we're just throwing the meat on, you know, as in the rehearsals and as we're going along. And yeah, that's great. I think he said that that if, if that if the uh, actual screenplay, the actual movie was exactly like the the script, yeah. that it would it would be a total failure. Mm. And I agree. With that. Well, it was great script, but you know, it would. Everybody's kind of throwing in their own stuff. No, everybody's got to be more. Like, what he's striving for is everyone to be a complete individual instead of kind of like in other movies, there's like four central characters that are kind of human and then the rest are pe like non-people. And this, like every person in this film is a complete person. Yeah, real. A you real know? human, yeah. yeah. And that's what's, what's different. Like, it's like, it's how the old Realism European is films, a big yeah. thing I think he's trying for. Yeah. You know, it's... Uh, Real time, three shots, three scenes in one take. I mean, what that does is it shows real time. These are things that are actually going on. A lot of, you know, a lot of directors. Uh, it's, there's a formula, you know, that they go by is the basic, you know, shot, shot, master, whatever, you know, your basic script, you know, formula script with the, the hero and the bad guy and all this stuff. And this movie's completely off of that formula. It's got its own, its own thing going. You know, there's no. He's got his own, you know, his own style. There's no formulas, no anything. He made up his own. That's what that's what I think is. How does that that realistic approach like affect the individual characters in terms of the way you think about them? Um, you you just have to you just have to be truthful. It's like you can't fake it. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you can get cut around and be covered. You know what I'm saying? Because usually, if everything's in a master. 
you have to know who you are, you, you know what I'm saying? And a lot, of, a lot of the other films, you can fake it, you know, which is sad. Well, sometimes in some films, it's all right to fake it. It's just a total bullshit film. <laughs> it's just a total That's bullshit, this bullshit funny film, which is not at all what this is. This is, I mean, there's some goofy shit in here, but you know, you're still, you're still playing off of the true character. Yeah. No, he just, I mean, he just wants these people in the 70s this day and that's it mm. you know and that's that's all he's he's wants. it's like there's no event and if he gets everybody to be a complete individual on this day you know for an hour and a half he's he's done what he should have to do cut <laughs> oh there we go <laughs> It's exactly like getting dressed, you're like, the best part is this? the shoes. What about that? The whole we gotta show our shoes, guys. Yeah. Check these boots out. They're very jealous. Yeah. <laughs> they're jealous. Yeah. They're looking, but there's a little, little, little bit of difference. And these pants think, are actually. really good. Really Come on. Really but, tight. But, but hey, let's talk about the pants. <laughs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> What's wrong with the pants? Well, they're just not. We're just not used to them. Yeah. But mine are not conducive to like breathing and sitting. Let's go that way. What about, um. Set, like, what do you think in terms of this film, like working in an ensemble cast? Instead of like having like, just working with one or two other actors. It's very interesting. It's, it can be a lot of fun. Vic did such a good job. It can also be a little distracting. You know, he, he casted people that he thought would be able to work good together. And, and I mean, every night it's like we meet in the lobby at 8 o'clock and we yeah. go to dinner together. It's yeah. really great it's like because we're not alone. I mean, whereas normally we'd be like playing the kid of a family and you'd kind of sit around. Right. And There's and always you something around. We always have something to do. So it's it makes it a lot easier to be in a small town together instead of... So it's really great. And we all get along so well. All there's, of us. There's no egos so, here. Yeah. No egos. No egos at all. <laughs> we have our own therapy class. <laughs> We're the Bible group. That's what we call ourselves. We get in the van and we, we, like, we meet, Bible group here? There's never less than like eight people going to dinner. So we meet with the manager of the hotel once a week and he straightens us up and makes sure, make sure we're all doing our, our jobs correctly. Well, what about back to Rick? Like, how, how has it been working with him? Very great. Uh, yeah. He's one who's really he's, great. He just gives you so much freedom. And I mean, everyone here is so gifted and so talented. He, I mean, if you wanted to change your character, he was like, fine, just be committed to it. Yeah. yeah. And you do it, and he lets you improv. I mean, half of this film is going to be improvised. Yeah. It's like, if you want to say something, you ask him, he's like, cool, say so it. It's coming whatever. from your character. Yeah. yeah. But he and trusts real, us, and that makes you feel great. Yeah, okay. it's and really after, good. I mean, there's so much freedom. Really mm -hmm. what, what about, like, the whole 70s? It's great. So great. <laughs> the music, clothes, the hair, everything is, is fun. It's like we go out at night and we dress this way. You know, it's totally... It's laid back, which yeah. I think goes with Rick and, and the people working here. The, the crew, they're, you know, they're all like from Austin. They were in Slacker, a lot of the stand-ins <laughs> like in Slacker. It's very cool. And everyone's just Love this time back. period. Yeah, this time period was fun. I, I remember pieces of it. I was very young, but I do remember pieces of it. With my mother and my brother. And the music eight. is great. The music so funny. is going to be a big part of it. Yeah. I can remember my sister was, my sisters both grew up in this era, and I was just a little girl, and I can remember helping zip their pants up. And you know, they'd be like, Shelly, come? come on, come on, hurry up. No, we used hangers. And we were we just, used to come. You know, and it and took so, so much. Lay down on the bed and like, you haven't seen like that. Yeah. 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 It's so great. What about like, in, in terms of dates and confused being girls on this film? There's like so much guys. Stuff. It's a man's film. Definitely. definitely. And we've talked about it. Before. Yeah. Because it's like there's a scene with the guys and they're all sitting around talking and it's it's so great. And then the scene with the girls, they're in the bathroom, you know, talking about boys. And that's such a man's idea of 
what we have But I, I, I also think that he's great, great because my character girls. doesn't want to talk about guys. Yeah, and I also that think that we really yeah. put we put a good stable position for women as much as we could. In right, and he and he allows really it because he's like, that. hey, I'm a man. What can I do? Yeah, yeah. I try as hard as I can. Yeah, how would he know? Cut. Alright. How you doing? Pretty good. Cool. Guess you heard about the party getting busted? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's cool, it's not to worry. There's a new fiesta in the making as we speak. Oh. It's out at the moon tower. Full kegs, everybody's gonna be there. You ought to go. Okay, we'll be there. Okay. Cool. <laughs> well say, you need a ride? That's cool. Well, listen, you ought to ditch the two geeks you got riding with you now, but we'll worry about that later. I will see you there. Okay. God, I love those redheads, man. Thank you. We don't have any more comments. The president has nothing. Uh, that's right. Thank you. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know anything about any women or any money. <laughs> Okay, now, uh, oh, anything about any pictures, please, no comment. I'm an innocent man. Ben Affleck, how do you feel about this? I'm going to Disneyland! Other side. Okay, Christ, I love this. The paparazzi. Oh, Sean Penn, I punch you in the head. What's it like living in a hotel for two months? It sucks. It's sad. It, I thought it would be a lot of fun, but it's, I mean, you like this one room. Yeah. It's, I want to it's about the size of my apartment in New York. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, what have you done to, like, make it? Yeah. Move the bed. To move the bed. The bed used Absolutely to be. Absolutely nothing. We all moved our beds. Yeah. The bed used to be there under that thing. And this dresser was under here. Michelle Burke started this. Yeah. yeah. She moved her bed and she had the maids, like, she asked the maids to make her bed every day with the bed spread on the white side up. Oh, no. <laughs> 
is so bad. That is so bad. <laughs> she was bitching one day. I tell them every day to oh, make no. it with the white side up. And it's when like, you leave sh- it they think we're so nuts here. They think we're so. They really insane. hate us here. Except yeah. for the except for the bell guys. Because it's like we because because we live in these little rooms, we go to the lobby and treat it like our living room. You're alive, you're at a party. You're not standing there looking at the camera. You're doing the crosses that you've been assigned. You're making out, you're drinking, whatever you've been assigned to do. When I say move, you stop doing those things. You notice the fight and you move in. Now, anyone who doesn't understand that, make yourself known right now. All right, so what are you going to do on background? What you've been doing for the past three days? Start acting. What are the basic icons for Dazed and Confused? Well, we have a lot of marijuana and a lot of beer and whatnot. And the marijuana that we used are all herbs. And these herbs came from New York. And not only can you smoke them, you can also make tea. And some of them do different things. Like, for instance, some of them enhance dreams and others enhance sleep and some give you energy and stuff and it's all natural so it's not like smoking tobacco so it's, it's not harmful and of course no party's complete without bongs so we had a lot of different bongs this particular one was a hero bong that one of the guys makes in shop class so you can see we have a vast assortment of party bongs were they all used in the film all we used in the film, most of them were out at the Moon Tower, where we had our big beer bus party. This is my personal favorite. And we had other, you know, rolling papers and little pipe hitters and stuff like that. Different kinds of roach clips that were real popular in the 70s, like, for instance, keys. This is a real popular. Put your joint in there and hide it on your keychain. So a lot of that stuff. So the actors made their own paddles in character. Now, this is O'Banion's, OB Badass, and he has Fuck You, which I thought was interesting. I'll keep it up for a second. Okay. Just the other most interesting one. The other most interesting one would be the guy who played Benny, and he's kind of crazy. He came up with this idea. And then he's an Irishman, so he put this little thing on there. And I don't know what all this means, but it looks good. And then another one of my favorites is Melvin's. Melvin is the soul pole. Okay. Do you 
Oh, uh, quick story about the beer. Grand Prize was an actual beer, and I think they they went out of production in 1974 or 76, sometime around there. So what we did was, in this movie, we couldn't use real beer because of you know legal problems with drinking, driving, and that kind of thing. So what we did was we used Grand Prize, which was brewed in Galveston, Texas, and was owned by Howard Hughes. So that's kind of an interesting tidbit. The same thing with Silver Fox. It was a real, real beer at one time, and we just stole the, the label from a photograph and made our own labels for our own beer. Can you hold that up for a second? Can you turn it around? What's today? Uh, Tuesday. Why is today different? I'm going to school right now. And it's first. It's the first day of school. And do, how do you think it's you're gonna when you walk? Do you think if you're, when you get there and your friends see you and you're wearing that shirt, what is the response gonna be like? I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna have to find out. What Hope, you got? Hopefully, a, a non-violent response. Why would it be violent? I don't know. Some of my friends are kind of hard up for cash. They might be a little pissed off me getting such a lucky break. But, yeah. you know. Do you think it's going to change your status at school? Better not. If it does, then I don't know. I don't want my status to change at school. What is your status? My status is weird little guy that hangs out in the computer class and everybody leaves him alone, which I'm very happy with. Be anyone. You said to me before that you get beaten up. Oh no, not at high school. That was junior high. I used to get beaten up every day, man. It was pitiful. You know, you can turn like uh, over here somewhere. You can, you yeah, can get I in. Know. Yeah. I think something bit me last night in my sleep. When you look back on the summer, what is the best summer I've ever had in my entire life, and it's over. And what do you think, um... I went out with her in junior high. That girl over there soon, yeah. All right, stop. It's time to say goodbye, my friends. Come <laughs> out! Me with the cigarette in my mouth. Like that. Wasn't mine, Mom. Uh, I was holding it for them. You can just go to school. You don't have I to can just school. go to. You, you guys gonna follow me inside or something? I'm just gonna watch you leave. No, man. My... <laughs> Matt! Oh, I need a cigarette? No, I'm gonna give you one. <laughs> Does anyone not want cheese on the burger? Me. Uh, I want. I want something. Me too. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. 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 You make peace with my own self. You don't have to. Look at that. That sassy girl. <laughs> <laughs> He asks how much marijuana was consumed in the making of the movie. Um, that was like some kind of oregano uh, fake stuff that smelled terrible. It tasted like shit. It was nasty. I, I, I'm, I'm just the guy thinking we're doing it official. I can't really speak for these people if any marijuana was consumed in the making. Maybe you guys would want to come up. The last scene of the movie when we're driing in the car to get oh, it up right. and take it to a stone. <laughs>